everyone, Nina Yang here. I'm back with the custom letterpress printing plates. When you order your custom printing plates from Lifestyle Crafts, the artwork needs to be designed to be placed on a 6 inches by 8 inches plate. I've already trimmed my plate into individual pieces for this video. First, we're going to use the adhesive sheets to adhere the plates to the platform. Peel off the backing. Remember to save this backing paper so we can use it to store our used plates. I'll show you how later in this video. All we need to do is to put the smooth side of our plates onto the adhesive and cut them out. I will fast forward the next part of this video. Now we have our plates ready. We're going to place the letterpress paper down on the base to guide the placement of our printing plates. You only need these paper placement guides, uh, these black foam pieces, when creating multiple prints of one design. But I always use them just to keep my paper in place, you know. It's important that our paper don't shift uh, during the process so it can get a crisp image. Now we're going to peel off the other backing sheet from our printing plate and place the plate in where we want on the letterpress paper with the adhesive side facing up. When you're happy with the position, just close the lid down to adhere the plates to the platform. Easy, right? You can always peel them off and replace them if you don't like how they look. Like what I'm doing here. My artwork wasn't aligned to the center when I was trimming them out, so it was a little tricky to align them together. So you won't have this problem when using a pre-designed letterpress plate. Just remember to trim your custom artwork with even edges on all ends, okay? Okay. Now we're going to mix our inks. I think I'm going to use the orange ink from the starter kit. All you need is a tiny dot of ink. You can always add more if you want, but it's always good to start light and small. It's a little darker than I need. Uh, I'm going to mix some yellow and white ink with it to lighten it up for this project.
Isn't it cool? The inked area is pressed down into the paper, giving a great debossed look. Let's ink another one really quickly to see how it goes. Okay. The color is a little lighter this time. I like this version, but you can always continue to add inks to your base to keep the color intensity. I'm going to show you how quickly it is to clean the plates with the cleaning cloths. Just wipe the cleaning cloths on the printing plates until it's clear. Then we're going to use the backing sheet we've saved earlier in this video to store these used plates on. Easy, right? Before I finish this video, I just want to share that we can die cut our letter pressed paper for even more usage. I'm just using a tag die to die cut a tag out that says thank you with the heart on it. I'm going to fast forward this part and just show you the results. Cool, right? Thank you for watching me playing with the custom letterpress printing plates from Lifestyle Crafts. You can find more information on this platform on my blog, waffleflower.com, and it's linked in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye.